Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going through how I paint hard edge camo uh, by hand, not using an airbrush. Um, as you can see by this head, so spinning around. Um, the process is really straightforward, um, but I'll just be showing you in a video of me painting, so feel free to skip on to the end where you can see the finished product without any decals or anything like that on. These two tanks I've shown you here are going to be part of a four tank platoon. Um, I'm just showing you the finished product so you can get an idea of how they'll come out. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is um, actually airbrush green as a base coat. I know I said you wouldn't need an airbrush for this. You can use a spray can. Um, ordinarily I would modulate as well. So here I'll had a lot uh, lighter greens in there but for the sake of this video I'm trying to show that you can do it without uh, modulating so um, if you want to use a green spray then definitely do that probably go a little bit lighter if you can if you know um, of a better green that's that's great this is NATO green uh, Tamiya uh, that I airbrushed on so now I'm painting with this red brown the key to this whole process is to make sure that you're adding just that little bit of thinners to your paint. So I've got the paint in the palette straight from the bottle or paint jar. Um, and then I'm adding a drop or two, and I mean a drop. I, I put in a little spoon, just hover it over and wait for a little drop to come out. And then I add another one if I feel like it needs a little bit more. I want it on the brush so I can keep painting. I don't have to keep, um, rinsing this brush out. As you can see, I'm not rinsing it out very often. I'm getting quite a bit of um, purchase out of it and I'm not really having to worry about cleaning that. So again, use the paint um, from the bottle, but then add a few drops of thinners. Depending on what you're using will obviously also depend on how much finish you want to put in because some paint is quite um, thick compared to others. So I find that to me is already quite thinned down and just adding a drop or two really helps there. The reason I'm adding the thinners is I don't want those horrible paint lines, that you paintbrush lines that you can see or where the paint really builds up. I wanna be able to look at it and go, okay, that looks like it's been airbrushed on or it looks like it's been put on without having blobs of paint sticking on, hiding all the nice details that can be within that model. But yeah, anyway, that's that's pretty much it. So the rest of the video is just going to be me painting and then you get to see the finished product at the end without um, any decals and such. I hope this is going to help in some way and if it has, please like and uh, subscribe. But uh, yeah, I'll leave you with some funky music that I found, um, some, some free site and yeah, thanks for watching.